Hi, I'm Dr. Steve Rittner of the Rittner Floral School in Boston, Mass. It's a pleasure to welcome you into one of our classrooms today. We've got a neat demonstration planned for you and I think you're going to really enjoy it. What are we going to do today? The giant cup and saucer. Yes, the giant cup and saucer. I found this one in our storage area and I just couldn't help it. Many of you have enjoyed the videos that we've shown you of small cups and saucers and also some of the pictures that we have uh, on our Facebook page of a wide variety of different cup and saucer ideas. Well, I found this big giant thing in our storage area and I just couldn't help it. I said, ah, oh, we've got to show the folks this one. It's going to be fun. And we've already started the process of decorating it. We're using some very, very neat materials. This is called physocarpus. Physocarpus. It is an incredible material and it comes to us uh, uh, courtesy of the, the folks at Blooming of Beloit, Beloit, Wisconsin. It's wonderful stuff, it's branchy, it holds up very, very well. Comes in a lighter version and it also comes in a darker version. I'm using the darker version right here um, first in terms of my uh, decorating. Here is a, a sample of the lighter version of our physocarpus. It is truly remarkable stuff and I'm taking some of this and working it on my base just to give us a little bit of a greening effect and uh, to give us some interesting backing to what we're going to place with our flowers. I also happen to have another material here that is a really remarkable kind of uh, uh, foliage type material. This is called aronia. Aronia. It is really neat stuff. has little berries in it. It's really, really pretty. And I'm using a little of our aronia also on this design. Both of these available through the folks at Blooming of Beloit, Beloit, Wisconsin really, really pretty stuff and you can see that with a little bit of our physocarpus and with a little bit of our aronia placing this in here right from the get-go we have a nice kind of backing and we're ready to go with some of our materials. We've got some really cool things we're going to be putting into this design today. How about this? Hydrangea. They're gorgeous, they're pretty, they come in a wide variety of colors and you know something? It doesn't take much. Look at this my viewer. One big hydrangea and look at the showing that that makes. One big hydrangea. I happen to have one that's kind of a pinky lavender color but these things come in all kinds of colors, blues, greens, whites and just one big one in there. Let's stick a little Fuji. It's funny to call it a little Fuji because normally we think of Fuji's as being fairly good size in terms of a flower shape but you can see that that's also contrasting with it. And then you never can go wrong with roses. And so I'm going to work some of my roses in here and I've got a very pretty red rose that I'm tucking over there. I'm going to work another one of my roses over here in towards the front. In other words, I'm gradually going to fill in with my materials. I'm going to play with a combination of colors on this one today. I'm going to work another red rose over here onto this side because we don't want to neglect this side of the design either. Sometimes finds that you can have in your storage area of different kinds of flowers and materials can truly be awesome. You bring them out, you use them, put them on display. Here's a, a nice red, a nice yellow rose rather that really gives a pretty effect. And then let's add a few more of our yellow roses. You can use these things in entry areas, you can use them in bay windows. They just are big and they're showy and they're fun to play with. I call this a novelty kind of container because it is certainly not something you'd see every day. And when I came across this one uh, in our storage area, I said, oh, the folks have to see this one. This will be fun. I have a few more uh, roses, not only in my yellows and my reds, but I also have this very, very cool orange rose. It's kind of orange with a little yellow uh, section in it as well. I'm going to tuck a few of these into our design. I'll work one over here, perhaps one over in towards the bottom center over here and you can see how this is really working very, very nicely for me in terms of my materials. Uh, let's add a little contrast. We've got roses, we've got hydrangea, we've got a Fuji. We could stop at this point if we wanted to uh, but wait, there's more. How about some of our palms and I've got this little cute palm that happens to be a green color and I'm going to scatter just a few of these in just for contrast and to kind of come up with an interesting effect. Quick and easy. That's the whole Rittner Floral School approach and in our various programs that we offer through the year we're going to show you how you can come up with all kinds of beautiful things and do it quick and easy. I'm going to take a few more uh, pieces of, uh, of my roses. I've got one over here that I'm going to place over onto this side. 
you can see this is a one-sided piece. It's very, very pretty. I'm going to use a little bit more of my physocarpus to give it a nice effect. The physocarpus works so well to give a nice drippy, droopy, natural effect that people love in their designing these days. It kind of flip-flops here and there, and it gives wonderful, wonderful contrast uh, to our more rigid flowers, which are, of course, our roses and our hydrangea. But by working this stuff in, it kind of gives a very, very nice kind of contrast to the whole thing. And then a little bit more of our aronia foliage. I'm going to tuck in right back here. And there we have it. What do you think, my viewer? Isn't that gorgeous? A big, giant cup and saucer. Well, my viewer, it was a pleasure welcoming you into one of our classrooms today. As you can see at Rittner Floral School, we love playing with all kinds of interesting novelty containers. We love doing floral designing in a wide variety of styles. But most importantly, we love making it quick and easy. On behalf of all of us here at Rittner Floral School, it was a pleasure having you into one of our classrooms. Do come back for more of our continuing series of videos. I'm Dr. Steve Rittner. Thank you for coming in and visiting with us today.